palace on a hill overlooking Nablus, complete with authentic works of art from Europe. When I was 19, I was in Chicago, and I saw a Palladiana-style home house. I said, I, I said to myself at that time, when I go back to my country, to my home, Palestine, I would, I would like to build a similar, uh, similar house. Munib al-Masri calls it Palestine House, and it represents a dream. My dream is to have a state to have a Palestinian independent state living in peace with the region here and especially living in peace with Israel. Al-Masri just led an independent delegation to Egypt where he says recent changes raise his hopes that the new Egyptian leaders might do more for the Palestinians than before. Before we went there we were in doubt that maybe they will be busy or something but on the contrary we found a lot of determination from all parties that we met. Al-Masri is also working for reconciliation between the West Bank leadership and the rival Hamas group in Gaza. With the country divided so much, it will never, we'll never have a country. So they always say, what is your address? Is it in Gaza or Ramallah? Al-Masri worked his way through college in the United States, partly as a bartender to Hollywood stars, before making a fortune in oil and gas. Now, he is the largest private sector employer in the West Bank. He could afford to live anywhere. I feel I have a lot of responsibility to be here to do things and I feel satisfied. Sometimes I hate myself, sometimes it's as if I didn't accomplish anything and sometimes when I see, when I see um, so many jobs we offer to people, so many things is going. I feel uh, satisfied. For Munib al-Masri, the job now is to turn yet another fantasy into reality. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, Nablus in the West Bank.